Welcome to Lightspeed, my name is Johnny. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can integrate your QBO account with the Accounting 2.0 module. We're going to look at how you can activate the Accounting 2.0 in your back office and how to link your account to QPO. We will then walk through how to perform the account mapping and how your data will synchronize. We will take a look at a successfully posted invoice in QBO and then how to disconnect your account. The first step you will need to do is accessing accounting from the left hand side navigation menu under integrations. If this is the first time you've accessed the accounting 2.0, you will see an enable button. Once you have clicked on the enable button, it will take you through to a page to enter in your Lightspeed login credentials, which will be your username and password. Once you've entered these in, you will get an authorizing page, which will open up eventually in the main Lightspeed Accounting Hub, where you will see the accounting providers available. What you can now do is scroll down and click Connect next to QuickBooks Online. What this will require you to do is verify the link between your QuickBooks Online account and your Lightspeed account. An easy trick to make this faster is to have your QuickBooks Online account logged in in another tab. If not, you will just need to put in your QuickBooks accounting username and password. Once you have entered those in, you'll be able to connect the QuickBooks and your POS accounting account together. Once this is done, you can click on the Done button and you will now load up the Lightspeed Accounting page. What I will now need to do is set the mappings between my Lightspeed account and my QuickBooks Online account. The first option I have are my sync settings. So this allows me to choose when how often or specifically which day the data will push through at the end of the day to my QuickBooks accounting. What I can also then do is choose a notification email, which will be the email address where I will receive an email notification if there are any issues with the syncing. What I will then do is choose my posting method. I can choose to either post by item or post by accounting groups. This allows me to choose the level of detail which will appear in QBO. I'm going to select accounting groups. What I then need to do is select a default sales account. To choose an account, I click and the available accounts will appear in the dropdown. Once I've selected my account, I can click on it and it will appear. I then have the option to map my individual accounting groups. What this will do is allow me to specify which account in QuickBooks I would like the data for each of my specific accounting groups to post through to. If I do not map my individual accounting groups, all data for all accounting groups will go to the default sales account. Once I have done that, I can choose my default payment account. Similarly to choosing my default sales account, 
I have the option to map my individual payment types. What this will do is allow me to specify which account or accounts the, the value of each of my payment types will push through into QBO. If I do not map individual payment types, all data for all payment types will go to the default payment type account. What I can then do is choose to split my credit card payments by card type. I will then need to map my tax rates. So all of the tax rates currently available in my Lightspeed account will need to get mapped to an appropriate tax rate in my QBO account. I will need to map all of the tax rates. However, I can map multiple tax rates to the same tax rate in QBO if necessary. Next, I have the option of mapping my discounts. If I choose to map my discounts by toggling the slider, I will be presented with a default discount account and the option to map my individual discounts. If I choose to map my specific Lightspeed discounts through to my specific QuickBook Online accounts, I can. However, if I do not choose to map the specific discount accounts, all discounts will flow through to the default discount account in QBO. What I can then do is choose which account I would like my tips to push through to. I can then choose my default customer name. and a custom transaction number. Finally, I have the option to enable location tracking. So if I have multiple locations in my Lightspeed account, I can choose to individually map them in QuickBooks. Once we have finished filling out all of the mapping and we are happy with the options we have selected, we can hit save down the bottom. Now that you have completed your mapping, 
the data will automatically sync based on your sync schedule. However, you may occasionally get notifications that the syncing has failed or want to repost an existing set of data through to QBO. All of this can be handled through your sync history. If you open up the sync history, you'll get a list of all previous syncs, including the completed and failed ones. You can post existing syncs here, either to post a failed one through for the first time or to repost an existing sync. Be aware if po reposting an existing sync, you need to make sure that you delete the existing sync QBO first. To repost a sync, click on the sync from the sync history and up in the top right hand corner, you have a repost button. What this will do is push the sync through again and make use of any updated mappings that may have been changed since you first created the sync and this secondary reposting. Let's jump into QBO to look at an existing sync. To find your invoices, jump into sales and then invoices and you will have a list of your previous invoices from Lightspeed up against that default customer name you had selected. If you click on the invoice, it will load up. And what you will see is a list of all of the accounting groups, the descriptions, the quantities against each accounting groups, the rates and the totals. You'll then also get a breakdown of the payments showing. Lastly, we're going to cover how to disconnect your account. In the event that you change your accounting platform, you can disconnect the integration by heading into the accounting section in your Lightspeed back office and clicking disconnect. This will allow you to select a new accounting platform and reconfigure your account mappings. So this was an overview of Accounting 2.0 and the QBO connection. If you have any questions, please get in touch. We're always happy to help. Thank you very much.